In our last lecture, we discussed symmetrical faults, unsymmetrical faults, and to solve these faults, we discussed symmetrical component methods in which we divide the N M balance system into three balance component the zero sequence component, the positive sequence component and the negative sequence component. In today's lecture we will solve some problems related to the symmetrical components. So we will solve three problems and see how to calculate the symmetrical components and how, what are the values of the symmetrical components what are the values of symmetrical components in case of a balance system and in case of an imbalance system? This is our first example. In this example, we have a three phase four wire system. So, phases are three and the wires are four. The current in the red, yellow and blue lines under the abnormal condition or IR is 100 with 30 degree, IY is 50 with 300 degree and IB is 30 with 160 degree and we have to calculate the positive the negative and the zero sequence currents in the red line and then in return current in the neutral wire. So what we have to do? We have to solve or we have to find the positive, negative and zero sequence component and then we have to add the total currents and find the new current in the neutral wire. So let me assume that I naught or I0 is the zero sequence, I1 is the positive sequence, I2 is the negative sequence currents in the red line. As we already derived, that the zero sequence component is the summation of the total current divided by 3. So here we have IR is 100, IY is 50. IB is 30. So what we do, we sum all these 3 and divide it by 1 by 3 or divided by 3. We get its value. Similarly, the I1, the positive sequence current, the positive sequence current is related to the total current in terms of the operator A. What we do, in our last lecture, we briefly discuss the operator A, that operator A is when divided with some current, it moves it into counterclockwise 120 degree and similarly the A square is in the counter 240 degree, counterclockwise 240 degree or minus 120 degree. So what we will do, here we will form the IR is the same, in this case the IY plus operator A and similarly the IB into A square, operator A square and here we got the positive sequence current. Similarly for the negative sequence current, we already discussed that the negative sequence current is already related to the total current with some operator A and operator A square. So here is the A square, here is the A, here we will multiply 120 degree, here we will multiply minus 120 degree or 240 degree and we will get the same value, here the same, here the minus because it is A square, here the plus because it is A and we will get. Then the last portion of this numerical is that we have to find the total current in the neutral wire. So the total current is the summation of IR, IY and IB. So IR, IY and IB after a summation we have this current and this is the total current. Here in this example we have a balanced star connected 
connected load then takes 90 amperes from a balance three phase four wire supply the fuses if the fuses in the a and b are removed find the symmetrical components so we have to find the symmetrical components before the fuses are removed and when the fuses are removed so this is our total system we have a three a three phase four wire system a three phase star connected system with some supply and here we have some two fuses what we have to do we have to find the symmetrical components when these fuses are not removed and we have to find when these fuses are removed so like when these fuses are not removed we have some value for ir we have some value for iy and we have some value for ib but when these fuses are removed we don't have any value for iy and ib because they are equal to zero so in case when they iy and ib are not equal to zero we have to find the symmetrical components and similarly when the iy is equal to zero and ib is equal to zero we have to find the symmetrical components again here let's assume that in the first case before removal of the fuses here the ir current is some 90 degree with zero angle iy is some 90 degree with 240 and the ib is some 90 degree with 120 degree and e, since the system is balanced it will have only positive sequence current negative sequence current and zero sequence component will be zero in this line so we can this is not only a statement we can prove this so here look at this if this is the fuses are still in the system i there is some value for iy and ib and what we do we calculate the zero sequence component so look at here the zero sequence component is the summation of the total current divided by 3 so the total current in the ir is 90 degree 240 and 90 into 4 when we solve the total the pole the zero sequence component is have some zero value because the system is balanced the system is balanced so we don't have any value for the zero sequence similarly if we find the negative sequence the two indicates the negative so here if by putting the values by putting the values we can see that this component is also zero in our last lecture we already told that we when we have a balanced system the zero sequence component and the negative sequence component will be having some e value equal to zero or they will not exist similarly only the positive sequence component will exist which will have the same values as given this is before when the fuses are not removed now when the fuses are removed here you can see that we have some value for ir but we don't have any value for iy and ib these components are equal to zero because the fuses here are removed and similarly if we want to find some value for the zero sequence component it will be the summation of the total current divided by 3 so it will have some value of 30 with some angle of 0 degree so before the fuses are removed in that case we have the zero sequence equal to 0 but after the fuses we know the zero sequence have some value equal to 30 amperes similarly if we want to find the positive sequence component they also have some value equal to because this term is zero this term is zero only we have this term so the total value is some 30 degree and also for the 
negative sequence for the negative sequence we again this iy and ib are zero so these two terms are zero we again have some value and similarly we can form for iy2 and i ib2 so here like what is the main purpose that if the reader may wonder how sequence can flow in yellow and blue line when the fuses are removed in them when the fuses are removed how current will flow in this component so in our last lecture we already discussed that these are just the mathematical expressions these are just the mathematical expression in order to reduce the calculation or in order to reduce the efforts in the calculation and they don't have any separate existence for example when adding the zero component the one uh, the positive component and the negative component again it is zero so we don't need to worry about because uh, to worry that when there is no current flowing how oh, there should be some value for the positive sequence or how there should be some value for the negative sequence or how there should be some value for the zero sequence if you add both all of them the total value is zero similarly in this example we have one conductor is open like in your previous case we did some fuses when they were open and when they were not open but in this case we have one conductor is open and the current is flowing in only in the red line and uh, in the red and the yellow line while the b line is open and we have to find the symmetrical components so here is our delta connected system here is our current flowing and one line is open so when the one line is open the ib current is equal to zero and we have to find the symmetrical components so in here when we need to find the symmetrical component this value ir iy and ib is equal to zero because this is open for the red line what we do we just add all these current and divide this by 3 to calculate the zero sequence current so this is our zero sequence current for the positive we relate it with to a and a similarly the a square and we calculate the positive sequence current and similarly for the negative sequence current we again relate this term is equal to 0 this term is equal to 0 so we don't need to worry about this term we only have to add the ir and the iy with some a square or a to find the ir1 and ir2 and a is very simple when it is a you have to divide uh, multiply uh, 120 degree and similarly when it is a square you have to multiply to 40 or minus uh, minus 120 degree and you can calculate similarly for the y line the zero sequence will be equal to ir0 is equal to 0 so here it is also equal to 0 and ir1 relates with the a square so here you can see it will having some value similarly for the iy2 you can relate in the similarly if it is the blue line the ir current is zero and similarly the positive sequence current have some value and similarly the negative sequence current have some value again in this example again when this is open how these two components have some values when there is no current flowing how the 5.78 or 5.78 with 90 degree current is flowing so the answer is very simple that this is only a mathematical expression to solve a imbalance system in term of a balance system in term uh, using the balance system components of the symmetrical components method but if again you add all these three the sum will be equal to zero so these are the sum of the components and at the last these three examples are from the principle of power system we ke mehta bo vk mehta bo and also there are more there are more easy examples given in the our reference book and uh, you can also solve these so i have add all these 
numericals in these slides and you can see and you can observe how these are working this is the summary how operator a is when it is in the form of for example if it is a square or a cube how it is working or like this is in the matrix so that you can easily relate all these components all for example for the zero components all the three have some one but for the positive the first one is one the second one is a square the third one is a for the negative sequence it is some one a in a square so i have summarized all the examples